I get a lot of requests from creators asking me to review their framer templates. Majority of these designers come to me asking how to deal with their template being rejected from the framer marketplace. With all of these reviews either on X or on mentoring calls, I noticed a pattern of mistakes amongst them all, especially the last one. If you're new here, my name is Ramesh. I've been a product designer for over five years now. Since 2024, I've been building my Framer template business and have successfully submitted 12 templates onto the Framer marketplace. Along the way, I've been posting on X about my business and behind the scenes. I made some genuine connections along this journey and had the pleasure to help other Framer designers with their templates. Whilst each template and its creator differ, there were some common mistakes that kept appearing. A lot of these mistakes resulted in having their template rejected from the Framer marketplace. And so in this video, I wanted to share the four common mistakes I noticed that could be holding yourselves back. So mistake number one is forgetting the goal. One of the biggest mistakes I often see are designers putting too much attention on how their template looks instead of what it actually does. Your target audience isn't just purchasing a pretty design or layout. They expect good results to come with their new website. Yes, your template needs to look good, but not at the cost of your customer reaching their website goal. When someone purchases your template, they're looking for a clear solution to help them reach their objective. This goal can vary depending on their needs. For example, their focus may be on acting fast and start converting their audience into customers. So they probably need to launch their website quickly rather than waiting weeks or even months from freelancers and agencies. And this is where your template comes in, providing a high quality solution that helps them launch their site fast and start bringing in sales for their business. Here are three questions I always ask myself when building my framer templates. Does your template really help your target audience launch quickly or does it make the process harder? Does it guide visitors toward an action like signing up for a newsletter or making a purchase? Does the layout and structure make it simpler for their audience or does it just add more complications? If you can't confidently answer yes to these questions, chances are your target audience won't feel confident about hitting buy. If there's one thing I've noticed, it's that template customers are looking for ready to use solutions, not starter kits or rough drafts. A common mistake is offering a template that feels more like a structure rather than a finished product. Your template should feel like a complete website package. That means having engaging content that actually connects with users, not just filler text. It should include copy that persuades visitors and guides them to take action. Your template should include relevant images and videos, not random media that has no meaning. When shopping for templates, customers are drawn to those that feel finished and well thought out, giving the impression that most of the hard work is already done for them. Focus on delivering a polished, complete experience so your customers feel confident and excited to purchase, knowing that they can launch their website that will deliver results. In a marketplace filled with thousands of templates, your template has only a few seconds to grab attention and leave a good impression. That means clean layouts, balanced spacing, and colors that work well together. Yes, this slightly contradicts my first point, but the real wow factor comes from how professional, modern, and trustworthy your template looks right away, not over-the-top animations and effects. There needs to be a good balance between how simple it is for the user to make changes and not too simple where it looks like any basic site that can be easily replicated on other builders. If your template looks outdated or rushed, its value drops quickly. However, if it feels high quality and well thought out, you can charge a higher price and build trust at the same time. This is the number one mistake I notice the most when I review other templates. And it's honestly surprising considering you live in a mobile first world. In the last year, mobile devices generated about 64% of global web traffic versus 35% from desktops. So as web designers, we should be putting effort in ensuring our templates function responsively. Here's how to avoid your design breaks at different breakpoints. Test your template thoroughly across different devices and screen sizes. Use responsive design methods like flexible grids. Focus on mobile usability. Make sure it's smooth and intuitive on touchscreens. A great framer template should look and feel great on all devices, 
don't cut corners here because in many cases, the mobile view is the first impression your audience will get. Selling Framer Templates is about creating a solution that helps your target audience reach their goals. Avoid these four mistakes and you will set yourself up for a successful template business with satisfied customers. If you're looking to get feedback on your Framer template, then feel free to message me on X and I'll help where I can. I do offer one-to-one -one mentoring calls to go through your template in detail, as well as discuss anything you like to, including a marketing strategy or overall career journey. If that's something you're interested in, I'll leave a link in the description below. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.